All right, so let's set up voice mod in OBS. As you can see here, I've got a bunch of docs that I need to get rid of. I don't need stream information. There we go. All right, let's set up our OBS to use with voice mods. So we're going to make sure that we have all of our settings the way that we want to first to make sure that we have the tracks in the right place. So this is this is an old setup that I have for recording videos and streaming. Um, as you can see, a bunch of of crap here. Um, this is my own. This is the only thing that I do in this one. So it's 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 mostly fine. I'm going to go into my settings first, and then I'm going to go to output just to make sure that I've got everything set up the way that I want to. So um, for streaming, this is the encoder information that I have up. I used to use software encoding x264. Um, you know, it's it's the way that it, it's the way that it goes. I, I'm not super into different codecs and stuff. I'm, I'm not really a filmmaker or uh, an advanced uh, person. So, you know, regardless. So I don't really care about streaming, but I'm gonna go to recording and I'm just gonna use the standard. And because we're recording here, I can't make any changes except for um, the encoder settings. I do record at 30,000 kbps for the best quality for YouTube because then, it, then it'll get, um, it'll get uh, uh, rendered in a smaller amount, but having the pixels and bitrate there to go smaller makes my videos a little bit better. But what I wanted to point out here is that I record tracks four, five, and six. So when I add voice mod here, I want it to be on a separate track because I don't want it to overlap with my normal audio, which as you can see down here. So I want to make sure that when I add the voice mod input, I'm, out, I'm probably going to put it on either five or six. Uh, I record, and, and I'll show you in the advanced audio setup that I record my regular audio through my SM7B, my Scarlet Solo on track four. So five and six are available for uh, sound effects or for a different voice, like voice mod. So that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to go ahead and close this to make sure we have that all set up. And now how do we add in voice mod? It's really easy. It's an audio input device. So I'm going to go down here to the plus sign under my sources for my Acer screen recording scene. And I'm going to click on add and I'm going to go to the top and I'm going to click on audio input capture. Now, if you haven't done this before, you're going to want to create new and you can call this uh, voice mod or whatever. I did this already as a test, so I've, I've done this already. So I'm actually going to add existing, and I'm going to go down to voice mod Mac OS because this is referencing this uh, particular program here that you can see sitting, the voice mod sitting behind it. So I'm going to go to voice mod Mac OS. You can name it whatever you want. I wouldn't leave like audio input capture, though. I would actually name it so you can see it. And so here it is. There it is in all of its glory. It is muted right now, so we're going to leave it muted uh, for now because, as you can see, it is uh, recording my input at the same level. It also has... Um, uh, some sounds have background noises, and so I didn't want that to be like in the background or anything like that. So we're going to leave it quieted, okay? And we're going to go to one of these three uh, hamburger menus. It doesn't really matter where we go, but we're going to go to, uh, you know, uh, oh, not that one. Uh, we're going to go here to Advanced Audio Properties, and it's going to bring up this window. Uh, as you can see, I just double checking that it's in the recording. So yeah, there it is. It's covering my covering my thing. And here we have our two inputs. We have Scarlet Solo. Um, for stream, it's on track one. For recording, it's on track four. Um, and in a previous iteration of this, I did a, I did a boo boo. I put it on track two, not four, five, or six. So I'm re-recording a previous thing that I'd done because it was a, a big old goof that I did. So. We're going to make sure that I'm going to leave it on two because I use one, two, and three for streaming, even though I haven't streamed in a long time. And I'm going to go ahead and also uh, make a click on five, track five here, because again, you can have six tracks. I'm going to put voice mod on track five. And so anything that happens on this track here or through voice mod is going to put on track five in the recording. And I can do this on the fly. I don't have to have this set up um, while, uh, before I record. I can have it go while I'm recording. Um, Okay, so a couple of things before I close this particular window, the advanced audio properties. So both statuses are active, and if so, you'd have a, an error, then it would be listed as inactive. You can also, um, I think, uh, hide, um, we can go to properties, doesn't have any properties. I'm not entirely sure what the inactive bit, uh, inactive, I've never seen anything different. You can change the volume output of these. You can either do percentages or decibel levels. Um, mono, I'm actually going to check that because it technically is mono, even though you would likely be hearing stereo. However, you're listening to this right and left, it's going to go right and left. The output here is you can see um, mono because really voice mod is only recording the left input. Um, you don't see the levels changing there. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make it uh, mono. You don't have to make it mono, excuse me, if you want to use the background tracks because those might be stereo. Those might be stereo. So it might actually be a good idea to leave it off. Uh, I don't like the backing. You're going to hear some of that because it's part of this test. But uh, your right and left balance, your panning options, leave it in the middle. Now, um, earlier in the video, I have a quick test to show you uh, how it works with my face because the, the rest of the video doesn't show my face. And so sync offset is to see whether it is to change whether or not you've got latency. Latency is really important when you're using virtual input devices, audio input devices, because uh, latency is going to desync your audio and visual. So if you're showing your voice, if you're showing your face, you want that audio to look like it's coming out of your mouth as opposed to not coming out of your mouth and merely getting changed on the uh, on the outro. Basically, the outcome is the change, but your voice is still your voice, right? 
So if you have any latency, you're going to want to use sync offset. I don't need any sync offset for my Scarlet Solo because that's my timekeeper. Um, but you may need it for your voice mod if you have a lot of programs running, you don't have a lot of RAM, this sort of thing. Uh, you know, whatever whatever programs and apps you have open while you're recording or streaming is going to impact the latency. So be aware of that. You can see a slight latency uh, between these two. It's really minuscule. It's probably less than uh, several frames. I think it's about nine frames worth. Um, and so you might want to shift that if that's the case. And, and frames doesn't really help with audio because you need a min uh, millisecond output. So you can use a apps that you find online or uh, websites that you find online to sync your audio better. On, or you can open up like a uh, editing suite like DaVinci Resolve or Premiere Pro, Adobe Premiere Pro, and help you to figure out. Now, the way that you do this is pretty simple. Once you know the amount of time that you need, just fiddle with it as best you can. Um, there was a great website that I found yesterday that I'll throw into the uh, the window here just to show you. So it was on squares.tv, and it's this uh, this this website here. The easiest way to sync your mic uh, mic audio in OBS, and it's used uh, to use with the um, the clap test basically. So this is a video on how to use it, and you can launch the calculator here. But this is where um, you would do it. So you have sync offset, and then you do a clap. You record yourself doing a clap, and then you go here, and it shows you where to find it and where it is, and then it does the calculation for you, right? So 300 milliseconds or nine frames in this particular setup, and so you would do 300 milliseconds, and that's because um, I believe the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this guy has the audio coming before the video. Oh, so uh, I had that backwards then. I had that backwards. So 300 milliseconds is the delay for audio to visual catching up. So if audio comes before video, you need a positive delay. If video comes before audio, then you need a negative delay. Video before audio, negative delay. Negative delay here, video before audio. That slow, basically slows down the video to catch to to meet up with the audio. Um, and if audio comes before video, then you need to slow down your audio to match up with the video. So that would be a three a positive offset. Anyways, that's the advanced audio properties. OK, so here we have track four uh, or uh, excuse me, track five. It, the, the checkbox comes before the number. Uh, I wish this was a little bit easier to read. So let's do a little test here. So I am going to mute my mic. And unmute the voice mod. Now, it doesn't really sound different, right? Because I just have voice enhancer on. What if I switched it to clean? Well, I don't want to switch it to clean. Let's switch it to cartoon, cartoon man. There we go. Now it should sound like a cartoon man. Let me show you my audio the sync here um, in real time. Cartoon man. Isn't that nice? Just, it just rolls off the tongue. So that's what cartoon man is. Uh, now, if you click on uh, the voice inspector, you can see that for this, there's just a pitch and a mix here to make me sound like a cartoon man. But let me uh, find a zombie for a second. The zombie. The zombie. The zombie has an ambient effect. Let me up. You can hear underneath my voice a stereo, a stereo uh, burning uh, background. I can click this off, and it won't be there anymore. Click it back on. There it is. You can make it quieter. If you want the ambient background, you can make it smaller, or you can just turn it off. Or you can turn it down to zero. Either one. You know, turn it off that way. All right. I'm gonna stop being a zombie here. So I'm gonna go back to this. And now I'm unmuted in there, and you can see the streams, again, are still active. And so, if you want, you can, you can just do this with a zombie. And then switch back and forth with answer. Look at that. Oh. Don't do it too fast. If you do it too fast, you'll get that error message. I, I found that out. Uh, so we go back to the zombie. Back to my voice enhancer. I don't really know. I, I haven't played with these settings, to be honest with you. Go back to the zombie. Back to voice enhancer. So if you set up a hotkey uh, to switch back and forth between these ones, Hotkeys are available. That would be great. Uh, otherwise, you can set up a hotkey between these. When you press the hotkey, one mutes and the other one doesn't. And then when you press the hotkey, the uh, it goes back to normal. That's how you can set up a hotkey. Uh, and one key will do do the work of unmuting one while muting the other. All you have to do is set the hotkey to be the same. Um, in uh, if we go to settings and we go to hotkeys, then you can sc scroll down to the inputs themselves I'm just gonna find my inputs so there's scarlet solo so you'd set up a hotkey for muting and unmuting and they're linked okay and then if we go all the way down to voice mod um voice mod mac os again you would link you can also do push to mute or push to talk okay so you can set that up i'm not going to do that because i'm just I, I, i'm just showing you this so i'm gonna go to cancel there so that's how you do that's how you set up very easily uh voice mod in obs if you use your voice changer in streaming or recording